man, exciting times for the ute. It's getting upgrades today. Also, FedEx just dropped off 10 packages here, so it's a busy day for us. We're ready for the gambler. Oh, I love the suspense. I don't, don't get to see it yet. So many layers. Ah, another layer. Woo! Oh, Look at that. yeah. <laughs> the Ute's on a whole nother planet now. What we've got is these beautiful wheels from 1552 that are getting wrapped with these 28 by 10 R15 ATV slash UTV tires. Uh, I assume they'll balloon out a little bit when they get inflated because they're uh, a little smaller right now, but they are DOT approved, so it'll be street legal, and they're rated for 800 and some odd pounds a piece, so that'll be plenty for the weight of the ute. It's gonna be a proper off-road rally truck now so yeah we gotta get those mounted up so we can do some test fits we uh, finally spent the big bucks 40 bucks for the harbor freight <laughs> tire machine probably should have done this years ago wow <laughs> it's like it was designed for it. almost beautiful wheel and tire, tire combo I think I've ever seen. These things are just perfect. <laughs> they're so cool. And despite the fact that they're like three inches smaller at least than the ones on the other Beamer, uh, there's still a lot of chopping to be done to make them clear. Because they are 28 inches in diameter. First time on her own weight on her new shoes. Let's see it. That's beautiful. Sam, you should jump up and down on that front corner and see what happens. It's really starting to look like a truck. Yeah. I mean, I think that if we hit a big bump, they're gonna definitely bottom out, but. I mean, it will work. Yeah. We can also roll that fender a little bit. side two of the fender flares going a lot faster because I had the other side to take measurements from and make a template so we're real close to uh, a test drive with these tires oh shoot what a great day yeah now that Sam's done working on uh, Beamer number two we can, uh, we can... <laughs> it's a busy day there's a lot going on at grind hard today
raining rather hard and hailing right now, and uh, it just turned the hazards on in the Beamer out there. It hit the hazard button hard enough to turn it on. That's going to be interesting if it starts raining this hard when we're driving. Any rain's going to yeah. stop. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be interesting. Look at the size of that hailstone. That one broke in half when it landed. That's half a hailstone. <laughs> it is coming down out here. I'm glad we're not uh, trying to drive anything right now. Look at those. It's like golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is they're few and far between right now, so... Oh my... Wow! <laughs> It's coming down. Oh yeah. The hail slowed down a bit, but it's still raining. I've never seen hail this hard in Idaho. No, I've never seen hail that big anywhere. That was like fully quarter sized hail. Yeah. I tried. This is insane. I've never seen it like this before. Super soaking today. I guess we're all done with droning. <laughs> and working for that matter. Everything we're working on is outside. <laughs> well, the big part of the storm calmed down enough. So it's time to test this bad boy. Just take it real easy and go find some bumps to go over really slowly to, to flex it and see if there's any rub anywhere. Because unlike that one, we actually care about this continuing to look decent. Um, so we'll just see if it rubs anywhere on the, the front fenders is probably where it's most likely to rub. So, um, we'll test it out and then see what more clearancing we have to do. So a little aftermath of the storm here, we got, you know, four inches of water in the car, so that's good. That looks like a truck and sounds like a truck. feel oh, it's, it's good um, I, there was a little bit of rub yeah okay so that's what I expected the front rubs a bit here um, when I hit when I drifted a little bit and then went up the hill I hit a bump on the front here and it rubbed the fender but what we can do is just roll the fenders a little bit um, and that should help with that but yeah feels good they get good traction uh, it's got plenty of ponies with the turbo. The uh, the tune isn't, you know, 100% perfect. It, it definitely stumbles every once in a while, but... Uh, oh, this side it rubbed here. Because mm. that's the way I was turning, I guess. So it rubbed. So uh, some finishing touches here on the ute to make it ready for the trip to Oregon for Gambler. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've done all of this and all of the other car this week. Not including the turbo setup, but everything else. Yeah, anyway. So we have the, these adjustable spring perches that we put on when we first built this thing. Um, we had them adjusted all the way down for various other things we were doing with it. And so I adjusted them all the way up 
so we have more ride height because we're probably gonna have a lot of crap in the back here for camping and whatnot. Um, and then I also made just some little really basic rubber spring spacers here. Uh, this one isn't doing a whole lot, but it was really easy. And then back here, there's a triple stack. Uh, and so those are just gonna add a little bit more stiffness to the spring as well. Obviously it's not very elegant, but you know, it works. It's super easy. And I did the same to the front. Time to roll these fenders out because they do not clear. So we've got this giant piece of pipe, which coincidentally is what all the strut spacers are made out of. And uh, we'll just roll it back and forth and it'll roll around the tire and roll out the fender. So uh, we got the fenders rolled. Um, didn't give us a ton more clearance, but you know, some. It also has the benefit of now the edge pointing at the tire isn't sharp. Um, so uh, we'll take it for a test drive and see how it does. And if we're still having rub issues in the front, I can just add more spring pad block things to keep it higher. Well, if it didn't scrape on that, I think we're good to go. Next step, oil change, paint, and pound out the inner fenders just a little bit, and we're ready to gamble. Well, uh, it's only taken us like two years, but the ute's finally gonna be all one color. Wow. The whole front clip is from the convertible, so it's already white. So we just got ourselves a few cans of gloss white here, sanded it all down, cleaned it up, and uh, sprayed all white. Some of you guys that have been around for a while might remember the drift video where the taco launched a rock into this windshield. Sam brought us a new one today. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna need that rear view. Backyard windshield repair right here. What kind of uh, system you got going on over here? So this is what we got, and it's way too stiff for the plastic little gun we had to squish it through. I was on it for 20 minutes and I got about an inch worth out. So I just cut it open with a knife. We have some old putty knives Ethan was using for tile. And this is my art piece for the weekend, is just trying to get this as level as possible so the windshield goes on nice and good. And then in the morning, we go off to Gambler Town. Heck yeah. This is the way the pros do it too, is what Ed was telling me. Yeah. <laughs> they use the putty spatulas, so. 